Now, there's something that we all possess in life that can make us a little bit more successful, but many of us really sort of underutilize it. I don't know if you do. I, I think you're good at it. I don't know about that. We're actually talking about your voice. The quality of it can either help us or sabotage our efforts to get what we want in life. And joining us now with three strategies to make the best of our voice is performance coach Cloris Kiley. It's great to have you back with us. Oh, it's awesome to be here today. Yeah, and what happens with our voice is that we can have influence on other people, not just during public speaking, but when we spoke, uh, speak to our friends or, or family or at work. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's such a big uh, thing when you meet somebody and, and you go to shake mm -hmm. their hand and they, you say, hi, I'm Ryan, and then they say, oh, hello. And, and you have no <laughs> idea what they're saying. It's like, who are you? Tell me maybe, your name. Maybe you're a little bit intimidated. Am I too much? Am I too over the top, Cloris? Well, we'll find out when uh -huh. I give you the three okay. tips today. Uh, yeah, let's thank go. you, Clarence. <laughs> here's speaking like a true politician exactly. over here. That's so, okay. it's something to, has, to, has to start with breathing. Yeah, what happens, our words, they ride on a bed of air. So imagine you have a ma magic carpet and then your words are right on top. If you don't have enough air, then you keep speaking and you run out of air and then your voice gets all strained and people start interrupting you. So that's not good. Okay. So we gotta practice diaphragmatic breathing. Okay. So hands here underneath the belly button and breathe in. Feel through that the nose or the mouth? Through the nose and then exhale you will through the feel, mouth. Yeah, you will feel your hands raise. Kind of like yoga. And then when you exhale, you have more air, more power, so you can really bring those you know, that your voice on that bed of air. Maybe maybe. You're not, some people tell me, am I going to look hmm. fat when I do this? Who cares? Nobody. We're no, trying to, you, we're you trying to get our voice stronger. That's the whole intent. That's right. Yeah, what you're doing is giving power to your voice so you can exert that influence over other people. Okay, so now that we know how to breathe, what's the next step to uh, <laughs> Well, the next step is that we become a nation of whisperers. Like you said, nobody, you know, you can't hear people. So if somebody goes, uh, or they go, excuse me, that's uh, a sign, right? You have to speak louder. Not louder, but maybe speak up, maybe? Because sometimes speak when you up. say loud, people tend to really yell. yell. No yelling here in studio. You're not exactly. yelling. You're using that new air that you have in your lungs oh. and then projecting your voice. It's like, you know, I give the 10 foot rule. Okay. So this is, this is only three feet. So imagine this 3.3 times. I oh, know. No, no we can keep right. stretching this That's thing. Keep going, you, Chloris. Keep you going can go with to this. 10 feet, can't you, with There's this? 10 feet in this thing. We can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so what, what do you, you want to do with 10 feet? So <laughs> there you have, you have your voice. You're imagining you're propelling this yes. ball, which is your voice. 10 feet away with that wow. new air that so you project, have. So project. I think it went 20, Chloris. You're projecting. Oh, way there. down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. So that way you see that people actually respect you more. Yeah. So just try that today. Try and see how it goes and see how people's attitude, attitude toward you change. But you have to start with the breathing. What's our third tip? Third tip is that sometimes we want to lower our pitch and then we lose all the melody to our voice. So it's like you're listening to a song and it goes, do, 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 you tune out. You don't want to listen That sounds like uh, the Mike Myers theme from Halloween. <laughs> do, 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 so you have to have some sort of beat? Yeah. You have to add melody to your voice. Okay. So a great exercise for that is the happy birthday song okay. exercise. Let's do so it. So we're going to okay. put a... Yeah, come on, Cloris, let's go. Oh, we all blue. get one. Let's do yeah, it. Not just green. Cloris here. Yes. Okay, ready? We're, we're, set. we're going to sing our songs. To the happy, happy birthday, birthday melody. Oh, a song? Anything? Happy birthday. Anything? Oh, <laughs> no, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everybody. Everybody, everybody who's watching. Everybody, at home. whoever's having a birthday today. But how does this relate to your <laughs> voice? And you will add the melody to your voice. So yes. it's like, Cloris, thanks so much for joining us today. Something like that. That is, style. that is beautiful. Thank you, Cloris. Oh, we, wow. we appreciate you joining Love us here, and I think our voices so are, are beautiful thanks. today. So we gotta breathe. Start off breathing. All right, we gotta do that. That's right. <laughs> hey, breathe, coming up breathe, here breathe. on the show, let's breathe while we do this. Uh, <laughs> curves rule when it comes to.